uh, okay. <laughs> According to that th blue thing, it says we are live now. Oh yeah, it's 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 official. So it, all right, we are live. All right. So what's up, everybody? What is up? It is September 6, thousand seventeen, and this is Craig's Corner. So what is going on from the left coast or the west coast to the east coast? which they say is the Beast Coast is what I'm getting direct message now. So all the new subs, uh, I, we've hit over 330 subs. I'm still in shock. I mean, we're just, we're, the channel's growing. I may do another channel. You know, it's starting to go to my head. I'm getting a big head. So everybody can, you know, if you can, you can sense my joy that my head is swelling right now. So just kidding, guys. Thanks, thanks for subbing. Thanks for subbing. All the old subs and new subs, what is going on? Uh, all the people out there in Australia, big shout out to you guys. Subs in New Guinea, New Jersey, Germany, uh, England, just everywhere. France, my good Scandinavia, got some subs there now. Just uh, phenomenal, you know, phenomenal. And I am joined today by the God, you know. He is joining the voice of PlayStation. So together, it ought to be a good show. J-Dub, go ahead and shout yourself out one good time, brother. Hey, everybody. It's your boy J-Dub, a.k.a. Kratos, the god of PlayStation and all things gaming. I'm here again with my man Craig uh, with some new hot topics, some more buffoonery going on. So uh, we're about to, <laughs> we're about to uh, laugh and point fingers here in a second. I just call it like it is. It's just, it's just outright. I'm gonna have to say it. I normally don't use this kind of language on the corner. I save it for the podcast, but it's just, it's fuckery. I, I'm, I'm out of words for this now. It's just, this is just Xbox fanboy fuckery. But, I, but somebody's got to come up with a better name than that because that's that's where I'm at with it. I need something that's uh, sensible. And I want to make an announcement to you, uh, Jay, and to the people that are sub. I was going to tell you this while we were, you know, offline, but I want to get your reaction to this. Just tell me what you think about it. Now, mm -hmm. I am thinking about doing another podcast for this PC oriented because, uh, for like for novice and mid range PC guys, because there's people out there that I've talked to that um, they think it'll be a good idea, but because PCs are intimidating. But that's a, I mean, I'm learning that the hard way. I mean, I'm looking at this stuff that's here, and I'm like, my God, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But uh, I was going to call the podcast a little bit more. <laughs> so, and, uh, right, and so, I, <laughs> so I wanted uh, your take on it, and I'm also going to do some uh, T-shirts with uh, – mm. It's going to say a little bit more. No, I'll, I'll, I'm looking at three T-shirts. One will say a little bit more. And the other one is yeah. at Craig's Corner. Then I'll have another one with the porch light. Or I'll do a special edition Close Encounter style. Mm -hmm. And do a... Uh, have, have, have one with all three on it. <laughs> well, what do you think you about the name of the podcast and then maybe some of the content? That's a great idea, man. Uh, you, you coined that term. Roughly a year ago, when this whole Scorpio debacle came about, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, yeah, man, you got to brand that thing. You you are missed a little bit more. Uh, <laughs> so I think that'll be awesome. Man. I think that'll be awesome. Yeah. So uh, so I'm putting this out now. So anybody that uh, has a PC that games on PC, and whether you got a monster PC, a um. Yeah, I did forget about that, Andrew. You're right about that. So, uh, Andrew did remind me. I didn't say the black man, and it's the green chair. So you're right about that. So yeah, I didn't forget the, about not that. Not the green right. man in the black chair. <laughs> not the blue chair. Although I do need another chair. So shout out to Press Start Kofi because I need to get in touch with him on what kind of chair he has because he's got like a kick-ass looking chair that he's sitting in. I want something like that. It just I need better back support because I'm old. You know, as everybody knows, I just had a birthday like two weeks ago. So, but uh, yeah, and this again, this it'll be a podcast that I'm thinking about doing for people who are either have mid range to low level PCs or thinking about upgrading. So, and just 
uh, you know, this overall some things they can add because like it or not, the PC community gets crapped on the community that as far as the way you guys are playing. Mm -hmm. You all don't play together. You all don't work together as team. This stuff like that. So, and you know, and so I'm just um, into that. But I wanted to be PC oriented. So, uh, parts based GPU. And a reason why is because uh, shout out to Digital Foundry. They did a series called 4K on a budget. So, yeah. 4K on a budget. I'm looking at that. I'm looking at those like the CPU they use was a. It only cost sixty four dollars and ninety nine cents. Yeah. So, I mean, it, they were talking about Destiny, which, I, again, I know games are different. You may not be able to run this game, but, I mean, I'm just saying, if you can get a CPU for 60, 70 bucks, you know, you're going to get murdered on the GPU because of Bitcoin. That's just the way that's rolling. So, yeah. and uh, yeah. Bitcoin's gobbled up all GPUs, and even at RX or R480, which mm -hmm. is considered the best bargain buy, $299 at Best Buy six months ago. Was yeah, over yeah. 600 bucks you know you're right so. <laughs> keep, keep in mind craig though keep in mind that not everybody needs a 1080 ti not uh, everybody needs a i7 top of the line processor um most people again still only game on a, a hd you know monitor uh you know yeah. at best 1440p monitor so the you know the whole 4k thing is something new not many people yeah. are into it yet. Uh, I'll give it. I'll give the market another three to four years before it becomes mainstream. Mainstream. Um, really? And I, yeah, I, I really will. And I'm going to tell you, it's, it's all about cost, man. The the yeah. cost to get into that, even if you have a PC. Let's say you decide to build this PC. You still have to cough oh, up you know, almost a thousand dollars for a monitor, for a decent yeah, monitor. I know. Yeah, that hurt my feelings last uh, Saturday when I was doing that. I'm like, okay, this because you know that OLED that's out there with this hooked up to the Xbox, the Xbox X. That thing costs seventeen, costs eighteen hundred bucks. Okay, but I talked to my friend that manages the Best Buy up here in Lexington, one of two, and he said if you walk in there with two grand, they'll let you out the door with that TV and the Xbox. They'll knock off three hundred bucks. So I based the build on the five hundred dollars for the Xbox and the. So you're, I mean, look, the PC parts were love. It was outright love, you know, until that yeah. monitor hit, and I'm like, what the hell? Because when you threw in HDR mm -hmm. and you threw in, uh, then I had to throw in a uh, and shout out. I can't think of the guy's name. He he sent me another build. It was only like seven hundred bucks, uh huh. And it was going to do the exact same thing, but. Um, and I just said, you know, the thing about building a PC is that you've got to have a beginning and end point. And if your end point is I want a game, like you said, four, you know, not in 4K because that's three to four years down the road. But if you want to build in 14, you know, 14, you want your game to be 1440p60, which is the PC guys that I've talked to is kind of where everybody wants to get to. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, then wait on a 4K monitor to come down, like you're like you're just saying. So, uh, yeah, I mean, mo most of these guys are, you know, they're they're rather hit 1440p at 144 frames or more, um, and, and just kind of game game, you know, game that way, and, and that's good enough for them. Again, they don't have a 50, 60 inch, 70 inch TV in front of them, so a monitor, you know, a 27 inch monitor is perfect for that resolution. Uh, I just think it's. Craig, we're at the point where when the consoles try to step over into the PC territory, it's it muddies the water and it, the things get messy. And that's how we ended up where we are now. Yeah. Shout out to Cycle Gamer over there in the chat and uh, Jason Elliott. Yeah, I'm going to build the PC on screen and shout out to King Show Enough. He he uh, donated uh, enough in my PayPal where I could just I could go get a camera. So I've got that. I'm just trying to figure out the CPU and then the power source because everybody I've seen build a PC, the first thing they put in is the power source. That's the very first thing they lock. You know, I've not seen a guy build a PC differently. They just said this is the easiest way to do it. They pop open the the uh, the you know they pop open the side. They put the power source in. They put mm -hmm. the you know they put the fan in behind it, and then they say, okay, this is a good confidence builder. 
you know, you get this locked in, you kind of say, okay, that'd be my first thing too. So, so yeah, but uh, so uh, to uh, so shout out to you over there in the chat, uh, there, Mr. Elliot. So, yeah, that's gonna happen. It's just, it's again, putting trying to get the parts that are matching that's difficult to do because one guy will tell you one thing, and then five minutes later, somebody will come by and say, No, you don't have to do that, you can do it this way. So, I have to try to figure out, and that's part of what I'm doing, I'm not angry. I'm just trying to figure out what's the best way for me to do it because I have to do it my way or else I'll forget how to do it, <laughs> you know. So, so, but shout out to everyone, shout out to you again, Jada, for donating the uh, GPU. So, I'm uh, just trying to figure out, you know, i5 or Pentium or, mm -hmm. you know, it's just so many choice. AMD, you know, one guy telling you one thing, somebody, else. and it's not that they're telling you wrong, it's just you got to figure out what's best for you. Well, and, and that's the most intimidating intimidating but, uh, factor is trying to figure out what you want to be on, what specs you want to yeah. be on, and where do you see yourself with this system? Um, you already have a 4K enabled GPU. Now it's about the CPU, whether you yeah. want to cut cost and go with the i3, go with the i5, i7, or whether you want to go the AMD route and get your, you know, a uh, you know, just just something, just a, a APU or something like that. I don't know. It's it's so many yeah. choices, and, and that's why it's intimidating. That's why yeah. people go with consoles because they know what they're gonna get. They're just gonna buy this box, go home, plug it up, and play. Yeah, and that's yeah, and, I, and that's your compromise. And also, um, this will wade into this a little later. I don't understand why people are comparing consoles to PCs. Graphically, you're already there. You're already at 1080p 60 on some titles. You're at 1440p 30 on some titles. I mean, if mm -hmm. a friend of mine, he bought Destiny, I guess, on the PC, and uh, he said he's going to run it 1440p 30 because he can only do 30, but he can yeah. get it to 1440. So he's happy with that. He's like, you know, he said he may be able to get it above 30 a little bit. It may hit 38 to 45. Mm hmm you know, he said he's okay with that. So, and again, I don't, you know, I to me, 30 and 60, it's a hard sell to me because I play Forza 5 mm -hmm. uh, because it was downloadable or something like that. I played that, and it it was 60 frames per second. Yeah. And Forza Motorsport or Forza Horizon is 30. Yes. 30 on the other Horizon game, for me, is better. The, yeah. the other game, it felt like, my God, I'm going all over. I barely hit the button. The car's like, Rrr. I'm like, damn. You know, so. And uh, Madden. Let me tell you yeah. this about Madden. Red Zone, mm -hmm. it compresses so effing fast. I have to attack the Red Zone now. Used to be with the old Maddens, you could attack with the tight end and two receivers. I got to put three receivers and a tight end out there just to flatten out the defenses because the recovery speed, the safeties cover ground so fast mm -hmm. because they're running. It's, it's, everything's running faster. It's like every, you have to process everything a little bit faster. And somebody direct messaged me, Kratos, and said, well, I must be bad at Madden because it took me two games to to figure, mm -hmm. physically figure out how to go. I know it's on a new engine. It, the engine behaves different. You know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I heard a lot of people say that a lot of old stuff uh, that you used to play on the previous Maddens now is a little bit different. So that's drawing people off and you're going to have to, you know, kind of learn that way again. Let me let me ask you this, Craig. Let me ask you this. OK, because I just last night I was playing Destiny 2 uh -huh. on the on the pro in 4K at 30 frames per second. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I leveled up. So I'm like level six or whatever. I, I put in a couple of hours. All right. All right. So my enjoyment in that game was through the roof. And I didn't, at that particular time, it looked so good. I really didn't care whether it was 30 frames or 60 frames. Now, I get it. I know guys like the spec sheet. They like to say 60 is better and, and this and that. And I, I get it. Yes, more is always better. Yeah. But my enjoyment was not lessened because I was gaming at 30 frames per second. But there's a lot of guys out here like, give me 60 frames or give me death. And I just don't get it. <laughs> and, and, the, and the reason I don't get it is because we just spent, you know, 10 years of last generation. It was a long generation. We just spent basically 10 years playing 99.9% .9 of games at 30 frames. 
and no one cared. No one said anything. And all of a sudden now, this generation, it's about, you know, it's it's really about the specs. Now, I'm trying to put the fanboy stuff aside. You know, obviously, yeah, the whole PlayStation versus Xbox thing. But I'm just, I'm being down to the very basic. I don't care what system you have. Does it really, do you really care? If you spent 30, you know, you, you played for the last 10 years at 30 frames. In this generation, the bulk of the games is 30 frames. Sure, you have some 60, but the bulk of them are 30 frames. And people are... I mean, they act like they're dying if a game isn't 60 frames. And I'm like, wait, we're, you know, unless you were a PC gamer, you should care less about 30 frames or 60 frames. As long as it's a rock, rock solid 30 frames, I don't see why a bunch of people get bent out of shape and they want to boycott developers and they just want to go crazy because a game is not 60 frames. Now, here's the thing. I, p- I paid additional money for the pro because I wanted to play in 4K or in a higher resolution than t- than my HD TV provided. So I went out, invested, you know, three thousand dollars on a 4K OLED TV. So I wanted I want my gaming experience to look better than it would on my HD TV. So as long as you give me something better than that 1080p. For the for the bulk of it, I'm satisfied. If I'm not, if there's a game that I just have to have 60 frames, then I jump on my PC. That's just where I'm at. I I, I, I don't get it. I I just don't get it right now, man. That's cute. I didn't mean to interrupt you there. And a shout out to everybody that's in here in the chat. Go to. Uh, I, can you all see my screen? I'm trying to. I'm screen sharing. I don't know if they can see my screen or not. So, it's. Do you see it, Kratos? Up there, hell, it may not be up there. <laughs> uh, all right, but if you can see my screen, you all can go to Slant Magazine. They have their official review up now. Granted, I don't know how long they've played. Mm-hmm. So um, uh, let's just—they're giving it a solid four stars. Uh, you've played the game physically. Of course, I've not played the game yet. I went to go get the game. They don't have the game, you know? Yeah. So, um, you know, where I went to go get it. So, because uh, yeah. one, it's a shooter. I do not hang my hat up on shooters. I had enough of the shooting back in the 90s when I was gaming on PC, by the way, with Rainbow Six and, Des- and uh, the game called Descent. Mm-hmm. Shout out to all those cats that we played online with. Um Post recon. So, all right, let me go back to reality. What is your based on what you played? You said you you upped your guy a couple levels. Uh, what kind of character are you using? And compare this to the original Destiny compared mm-hmm. to now. Uh, and let me let yeah, me boy. break this really quick. The um, hold on, very quickly. Digital Foundry, you have to use a magnifying glass to see their checkerboarding artifacts so that's from richard that's from the guys who you know broke the news about the xbox and you guys were ready to marry and take to the prom and one errands so we're not being biased here you know yeah so uh just yeah. what is your opinion from there where they were to now is it solid what do you see that could be improved or have you played it long enough to really get a good grasp on what you got no, one thing I noticed is it's definitely Destiny. It's definitely a Destiny game. Uh, you can tell. Um, graphics are, you know, a little bit better. Um, I, I noticed it, you know, it, it may not. Is, I mean, Destiny 1 was a beautiful game. Make no mistake about it. And a, a, lot, of, a lot of guys don't realize there's a reason they choose 30 frames is because they can give you a butt ugly game uh, with 60 frames, but then you're going to complain how ugly it is. Um, so the guys are, you know, they, they'll take the, the high road and they'll give you better textures, higher resolution at, and split the frames in half. That's basically what they're doing. Um, I enjoyed the game. Uh, I created my human character. Obviously, I, you know, pretty much every game I try to create a character that looks like me. It's just a thing about, you know, my gaming experience. I want to be inside of a game. So I create characters that, you know, yeah. somewhat fit my my look and my style. 
Um, I enjoyed the game. To me, I would give it a, you know, it's a solid 90 for me. Um, yeah. Think about Destiny. The, that first game was so freaking huge. So freaking big. I mean, that was a huge game. Yeah. Uh, it exceeded every expectation on every platform. And this is going to do the exact same thing. It's if I mean, if you're a Destiny fan, this is for you. Just I mean, this is it. This is one of the the three biggest games of the year uh, that you're going to get. So it's here and it's now. Uh, I'll recommend anybody to buy it. Yeah, yeah. That okay. Yeah, that was what I wanted to hear because um, you know I value your opinion and I know you had hands on with it. Compare mm-hmm. it to. Um, is it the same? Are you kind of doing the exact same things? Does it feel the same? Does it is it a little more fluid? What did the, what do you see that um, to the game? Well, uh, so versus the old. Well, from a graphical standpoint, uh, obviously sharper textures, um, more foliage, and I mean you could just tell. Oh, it's an overall cleaner effect that they were going with. Um, if okay. if you played if you played the beta you get a sense of how you're going to be starting off in the game because you basically play the beginning of the game. That's basically where you where where it started. So they they did it properly. They did it right. You can see a lot more um you know a lot more what do you call it uh special effects from grenades being thrown and stuff like that. The emotes are you know crazy as usual. You know you pick your favorite emote so uh, I just can't wait, you know, for this weekend. Me and my friends, we're going to jump on it and obviously, you know, start doing some raids and stuff like that. So um, is it a huge step up? Probably not because it's one of those things where it's destiny. You know, you know, there's those games kind of like Forza. When people say, yeah, I got a new Forza coming out. It's like, it's Forza. You know what to expect. There is not, not really yeah. anything you need to explain about it. It's just like it is what it is. And destiny is one of those games. You know, it's, it's kind of like COD. Uh, you play Call okay, of Duty, man. you know what to expect from expect from Call of Duty. It's going to be a twitch shooter. Uh, now, if if you know if you're going from the PC playing at 60 frames per second, then obviously coming back, to, you know, going to a console, there's going to be a downgrade because uh, you know a lot of people are just used to playing twitch shooters. Uh, yeah. But, you know, I can say if if you're a Call of Duty fan and you switch over to start playing Battlefield, you're going to hate it because it's not as fast. It's not as fluid. Uh, but that's because of the engine and the way that they tried to give you the game. You know, it's t- two totally different uh, types of styles that they want you to play. I know some guys are COD fans and they try to play Destiny and they hate it because it's not that much of a Twitch shooter. You know, it it does take some getting used to some strategy and stuff like that. So, I mean, that's just my opinion on it. Well, it's a definite. Uh... <laughs> so, all right. Well, shout out to my man, uh, D Roof 49. Say he just went and saw that Close Encounters movie and he said he he said it was OK. So yeah, it was it was good. I, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I told you guys to go watch it. You You'd enjoy it. But I'm sure you guys laughed at the TV. So, you know, they were making fun of the TVs in Close Encounters. They were the old C, what they, CR tubes? You know, they were old CRT tubes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they were ripping on me the other night for it. That's cool. As long as you like the movie, as long as you understood the movie, it all came together. That's the main thing. So, uh, all right, let's move to NAC 2. Let me see if I can screen share NAC 2 here. Okay. Uh, reviews for NAC 2, it's sitting at um, here. It's on. Okay. I pulled Metacritic because that's the one everybody seems to mm-hmm. do. Like it's the baby daddy. So <laughs> now being shared right now. Hopefully everybody can see it. Um, again, this is a. Um, a um, well, let, let's go back to Destiny. For all you all who are buying Destiny on the Xbox. Mm-hmm. Our Bungie has not announced a Xbox X build. So all you cats out there running around saying all these multiplats are going to run and look better. That, that's not been announced yet. We'll get into wait on announcements later. But uh, now I saw you tweet something about NAC2. Have you been able to purchase this game? And uh, if you have, what do you think about it? 
Yes, sir. Uh, bought it. Uh, much, much, much better than the first one. Obviously, you know, have, being able to have two players uh, helps, you know, with me and my son playing. Um, so, I mean, think about it, man. It's it's a sequel. The first one wasn't a runaway hit. This one here probably won't be a runaway hit. But guess what? It's Sony saying, hey, this is a likable character. This is a game. We're going to give another attempt to it. And shout out to Sony for providing sequels. That's something that they're known for doing. Where other uh, platforms, you know, they don't they don't give you sequels. So you you just right. never know where you know where a game could end up. Sure. Um, um, but I, 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 it got to you know if you look at the Metacritic score, it got high praises for from a lot of credible sites. You know, I think the average is like it was like eighty five, but then right. you're always going to get those one or two clickbait sites as they normally do. That you know <laughs> they'll give it a fifty or forty to try to get a bunch of people to rush over their site and and see. And, and that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. There's no crime file. You know, if a person yeah. want a great game, it doesn't matter. You know, I'm not going to listen to the lowest guy on the totem pole. I'm going to look at the average. And right now the average is sitting at 71, uh, which yeah. is probably a higher score than any game released this year on the Xbox. So, hey, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm not for sure. Yeah, I've not looked at any of their games. I, I do need to get that Halo Wars because I, I talked to uh, Microsoft today. And uh, sh oh, shout out to uh, Microsoft. They gave me a month for a live for free. So shout out to them. I have no idea why they did it. They just, they just I got an email saying you, you got a month of live for free. So uh, big shout out to them as the voice of Xbox. I should get everything for free from them. But anyway, it's no big deal. Uh, but I appreciate it, guys. So if you are listening to the podcast, and I, you all said you would, I do appreciate it. So uh, shout out to you guys. So, so, <laughs> so uh, oh, what do you know about uh, Microsoft, the Scorpio, or, you know, because you're buying it. How, what do you know about the, the Floating Point 16? What, what do you know about it as far as, this is off topic a little bit. Mm-hmm. Why are they not using it? Do they just not have to do it because they're just using brute force? Yeah, okay. you just you just basically just just said exactly what it is. They 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 feel like they're giving you six teraflops of GPU performance, so they don't have to use the tricks of the trade to do it. They're just going to take the easy way out and just let the GPU run uncapped, doing whatever it does. Um, whereas Sony, you know, more right. uh, thought out. You know, they, they saw it's like, hey, you know, we don't want to, you know, force people to spend five and six hundred dollars, but we're going to use the software to not emulate, but to, to try to take shortcuts to give you an equivalent of something of an X. And, uh, and so far, I mean, okay. at the end of the day, I don't think there's again, we haven't seen any side by side comparisons. That says, yeah. hey, this is why I have to own an X, because. This game here looks, you know, a thousand times better. It's it's just people are looking for that next generation leap, and they're not going to get it. And so it's going to be a huge disappointment. Right. Well, damn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and like uh, I said, uh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. And it's just shout out for shout out to. Uh, Sony, you know, for using their techniques, you know, I have that Formula One 2017. That was one of those titles that uses the RPM, that rapid pack okay, or, yeah. or whatever, and the, the FP16. And, you know, I've tried some videos and some, you know, playthrough people could look and see, but, you know, it runs at 4K, solid 60 frames per second with, you know, all the graphical textures and fidelity turned up so keep in mind i also have that game on pc so and i did that i bought two of the versions just so i can do a side-by-side -side comparison and give you guys my thoughts on it so yeah. uh you know stay tuned for that this weekend he's saying it's strange microsoft didn't use the rpm when dx12 is completely compatible with it so but again if they can brute force it hell you know you may not have to you know <laughs> you know so but there's nothing wrong with what they did i just wanted to uh 
I wanted to know why, because there was a video up there on why they didn't have to do it. And then he just do it in 10 seconds. A video was like, oh, they use brute force instead of. Yeah. Uh, and let, let me say this, know, Craig. Of, let me let me say this. Uh -huh. For a lot of guys out there, uh, you know, a lot of guys are talking about, oh, you know, here come these Sony guys talking about RPM and and FP16 and FP32. And it's like, wait, wait, wait. You got to choose your poison now. You can't sit here and, and crap on Mark Cerny and Sony on the techniques that they're using to get games to run the way that they want to use it. But then you accept anything that Microsoft come out of the camp with all of the, you know, all the stuff that they've been saying. Uh, what, what is this X supposed to have? All this memory and this uh, vapor cooling chamber, whatever crap. I mean, you tout all of that stuff, all of these marketing things. And yet when Mark Cerny says, hey, we're going to use this particular technique to make our games run a little bit better, then it's like, you know, you want to silence that. It's like, come on, man, you got to choose a poison. Well, you're going to believe these guys or you, you're not going to believe them. You can't pick and choose what you want to believe. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, it's just like the whole thing with digital foundries. Like you know, you know, the same guy at Digital Foundry said that the again the checkerboard the checkerboard build on on Destiny Two on the Pro is actually you have to use a magnifying glass to see it. So that's and again, and exactly. if you're right up close on the TV, and this is not changing the point of view. I mean, I shout out to the Cycle Win Kid Smooth. I watched listened to that podcast last night and I choked. When I heard them say the narrative is changing, no. And I want your opinion on this, Kratos. Okay, on in topic for you know, because I me and Kratos kind of discussed it a little bit, and it's not, not to catch you totally off guard. But all right, so the beginning of this generation, both consoles launched in November of thirteen, hundred dollars off price. You know, one is more powerful than the other one. That that's a side point. Um, at, so do you what is your opinion? I personally think at the beginning of a generation, it's always about from the where be we're going from the six to the seven to the seven to the eight. So people are gonna look at the games, whether it be a Madden or a 2K, you know, something you can see right away. Exactly. You know, so uh, and uh but what is your opinion as far as these cats still running around talking about resolution gate is still in full effect? And now that Xbox has a more powerful console. You don't hear about it anymore because it, they act like Xbox wasn't more powerful than the PS1 and PS2. The OG Xbox is more powerful than both of them combined. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> you know. So uh, so what is your opinion about this uh, subject? Because you got a lot of knuckleheads still running around talking about resolution game. So <laughs> uh, man, it, it, again. Guys are going to, here it is, and I'm just going to lay it on the line, okay? Certain guys have been taking L's for four years, and they're doing whatever they can to justify the L's and to try to turn those L's into W's, whether it's media bias, whether it's, you know, boycotting the developers or lazy developers. These guys will blame any and everybody they can except blaming the, the company who sold them that box. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. These guys will give death threats to developers for the console that they purchased being weak. You know, they they won't admit, hey, this system is too weak to do what it needs to do. They they won't admit it. So they'll, you know, they'll rather bash everybody else. So this is gonna unfortunately this is gonna keep leading on to next generation and the next generation after that. And this is just it's just who they are. Until they get some, <laughs> until they get a, you know, it's like a, chalk, a chalkboard when you get to erase, you know, unless they have that eraser, being able to erase four years, uh, their souls are going to remain hurt. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I don't disagree with what you're saying. Um, and to me, I underestimated how upset and hurt they were because they truly think the only, but it may, it just seems like it goes to an overall narrative that the only reason why PlayStation outsold the Xbox is because of the power. That's it. That nothing else mattered. Okay. It was, you know, didn't matter about their ecosystem. Doesn't matter that they got more studios than Microsoft does. None of that. And it was cheaper. None of that matters. Throw that all out. They'll say, yeah, but. 
yeah, but you know, so it's yeah. uh, uh yeah, Jason Ellis said he can't get that one thousand game score in Zoo Tycoon and Disney World. So I mean, there's nothing wrong with those games. I mean, but because I guess they're both real time strategy games, and they're I guess and they're cross play. I guess you can play it on the Xbox and then do as an Xbox anywhere, whatever it's called, game anywhere. And you can just put it on your uh, PC. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. So yeah, yeah, it's unfortunate that um, it's it's reached epic proportions. To we get uh, so let's uh, <laughs> the main topic here because this is going to be bad. I mean, <laughs> all right, let me let me try to be professional here. All right, let me suck it up here. Screen share here. To and let's see how. Uh, what else says stop? Okay, so uh, so I'm gonna stop screen sharing that. Uh, go here. I'm pulling up the article that everybody has been for the last, I guess, what 72 hours. Uh, mm. The Dual Shockers article. It seems like the chickens have come home to roost. <laughs> That's the way to put it. And um, so here, here we go. Um, let's see here. And let me give a uh, – let me tell you this. I had an exchange with uh, my man Zaire online because I put up you, – well, you saw what I tweeted about to play Madden in 4K. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, you know, I was, you know, to see what's going on. And he tweeted something like, and I'm paraphrasing, you're still using assets from the slim. Oh, asset that matters. I said the only asset that matters is that I'm playing the game right now and you're not. Wait, wait, wait. wait. So, oh, okay, okay. Craig, has it been confirmed by EA that they are gonna use any additional textures other than what they've always used on any platform? Not yet. Okay. Not yet. So what what <laughs> makes what makes him think that EA is going to go and create these PC textures when they don't even have a PC version? <laughs> they're they're, they're going to, you mean to tell me EA, the creators of Madden, the laziest ass people ever, are you mean to tell me they're going to go out of their way to create this, uh -huh. just this totally different version of Madden for the X? Let's. Get out of here. The game is out now. Nobody is going to wait two, three months right. and go back and, and build a special game for that. Just get out. Just let's stop it, man. We need to we need to call a spade a spade. Let's just stop it. Right now, uh, we're, we're playing Madden <laughs> in 4K, 60 frames per second. The best you're going to get it. It's going to look identical to the X, most likely. Right. Um, you know, and, and there may be <laughs> HDR. They have not. Let's caveat this, but because uh -huh. they have not, EA, EA the studio has mm -hmm. not said anything about HDR on either platform. Yeah, which which leads me to believe they're just not going to do HDR at all. Um, if if they were going to do it, it probably would have started. And there are some games like that. Look at Destiny; it doesn't use HDR. Yeah, so I wanted to ask you, know, you about that. What what is it? What do you think about them not adding HDR? Um, content to uh, Destiny so far. It's a disappointment to me. Uh, it is a disappointment to me. Uh, I would like to have it. Um, there are some scenes, you know, I'm playing on an OLED TV, so my blacks are solid black. And right. so some of those areas, man, can get really dark. And if I had HDR, it would brighten up some of those those dark areas and I'll be able to walk in, you know, I'll be able to see without bumping in the walls and stuff. Uh, <laughs> and if you have a regu regular LCD, then it would look it would look like it's gray. The blacks would be more grayish than black. So right. uh, hopefully they patch it in, man, hopefully. Uh, but, you know, it goes back to that. When you were building this game, you knew if you were going to have HDR support in that or not, you know. So. Correct. 
hide from it. They did yeah. not hide from it. So, they, yeah. you know, so they said they, they may look into it. I would think the PC would get it. I mean, what I would what I would hope they do is because the PC got a 60 frames per second mode and higher, that at least the consoles would get an HDR mode. Yeah. Because this game, based on the builds, uh -huh. based on the builds, uh, this is almost being developed like a second party Sony game. Yeah. Uh, this, I mean, with the console, with the people that went out and bought. I mean, shout out to everybody that went out and bought the Destiny bundle. Okay, because I, I, you know, I saw several people tweeting me about that, and I was like, oh, relations, you know. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, so uh, but uh, yeah, because I did not think so. Apparently, that's moving more consoles. So, but um, so let's get. Let's just I, I I'm calling it Xbox fanboy fuckery. Be a better term than that. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have a little note next to my little monetization thing. So, mm -hmm. but anybody else is free to call it what they want. I've had it up to here. This is exactly why I said because you all got to understand. Before I started doing video games, I was doing movies about than some games 30%, especially the games that kind of bled over. Like, I would have been doing Spider-Man because those are some, you have games that are kind of based on that. So, but but uh, it, this is why I told you guys to wait on the developers. Yep. I'm yep. sharing the screen now, and I don't know if this is up, but apparently internet is just flat out not telling the truth. Okay, we just got to call a spade a spade, like you said, Kratos. Response to this is actually in this report. Okay, I don't Can you all see this? His name is actually in this report quoted by Giuseppe mm -hmm. Elva. Yeah. It, it says a few days ago, a report by YouTube user D Batch mentioned the possibility of a mode for Assassin's Creed Origins on the Xbox X offering 1080p resolution, running at 60 frames per second, sparkling a plethora of rumors and reports among fans and media. So let's start with that. Why would developers of a game share that type of info? I mean, this game's not optimized yet. So there's your first lie. Okay, yeah. why yeah. would somebody share information like this on YouTube and not with IGN or you know whoever? I mean, actual credible sources. Um, Kratos, this based on this right here, the first article, truth of the article. What the hell's going on out there? <sighs> Again, man, it's is it's the people keep taking L's, man. You would think after the whole rising in Vega and you know, after that whole debacle fell through, you would think that D Bach, uh D Batch, however you want to say, you think he would go back in his turtle shell and just, you know, take his lumps like a man, but no. He continues to say since he's a <laughs> He he owns stock in AMD and all things gaming, so he has insider information. And uh, hold on, let me stop you right there. Real, not to interrupt you. Hold on, real quick. I'll let you continue here. Okay, right. for everybody, I have stocks as well. If what D Bash told you all was true, he would be in prison right now for insider information. Facts. Because <laughs> what he because what he effectively did is he tried to give out. Um, something unconfirmed that's probably a secret that they were going to have some type of chip set. I guess it's the Ryzen set that's made by AMD, right? Yeah. So the Ryzen chip set into another company's, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter what it would be a television, a remote control car, whatever. You can't do that. That is called the SEC, the Securities and Exchange. Commission would have went to Canada and arrested his sorry black ass and threw him in prison for seven years. Facts. So, 
so not to interrupt you. So this is for the people who, for so when he said he had inside information at that point, if you all don't know how that works, you all should have called bullshit. <laughs> oh, bullshit right then and there. Yeah, but you didn't do it, and so now the lie just kept going and going and going until the the. Till Digital Foundry, Richard says it's a Jaguar, yeah. but custom. So you know, <laughs> go ahead. Right, not to interrupt you, Kratos. Go, go ahead. No problem, man. You, you're right. I mean, you're a million percent right. But this guy just doesn't seem to stop. Um, so he was proven wrong with the whole rising in Vega. As soon as uh, Digital Foundry came out and said it's the same old stuff that's in the original Xbox One. Uh, and you know, the guy was silent for about a week and then he came back at it again with these predictions and these, um, all this weird stuff about him having just knowledge that nobody else has. Um, it's, it's unfortunate, but you know, there are some guys who listen to him. So, you know, if you listen to him, then, you know, more power to you. Uh, but this whole Assassin's Creed thing, I, I get why they reported on that. Because there was a bunch of, you know, bunch, there's a lot of other YouTubers out there, a lot of crazy dudes that, you know, they get their names in the paper from people smacking him down or making fun at him. And this is just another issue. I think they were basically more making fun of this guy than, than you know, actually trying to hold him credible. The mere fact yeah. that nobody, nobody else, uh, guys in the industry, real, real guys, that you know it's their job they get paid to get this information has no clue as to what this guy is talking about they they said that they didn't see any of those special insiders or developers at the event um and shout out to kofi even him you know he said he didn't see you know where where are these these mythical guys that you know these men in black with the trench coats where were these guys when everybody else was looking for <laughs> and they, they didn't see him. So take this with a grain of salt. And let me say this, Craig. This is this is going to be 2018, man. They're selling you a console yeah. for $500 again. And guys are happy and excited for 1080p? Yeah, something sure, I was first. playing like in 2004. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, Seriously? I mean, now if, now, if he would have said 4K 60, then, hey, you know, I probably would have, you know, my ears would have toughened up. My eyes would have, because that would have been a big deal. But I didn't, I'm not buying that to go backwards in time. I, I'm not. You know, let me ask you, because I know you, and I don't, because I, does um, Hellblade, doesn't it have a 1080p 60 mode? Uh, I believe it does. I believe it does. Okay, does uh, and Neo, does Neo? Yeah, have yeah, there's, there's been a, there's been a bunch of uh, PlayStation Four Pro enhanced games that give you that option to to do 1080p 60, or you can do you know 1440p, 1800p, or whatever the 4K method yeah. that they're using, whether it's native or or checkerboarded up from one of the lower resolutions. Uh, it, there's a bunch uh, of games like that. Um. Oh. Uh, Final Fantasy 15 didn't it get patched yes. to 1080p 60? Yes, it, it, it got um, patched. It, it gave me that. Madden, Madden last year wasn't that 1080p 60? Yeah, yeah. Um, 2K. Yeah, 2K. So is, yeah. Go to what you're saying. Why is this such a big deal? And to steal a word from Dave Chappelle, what you know was the white what the white boys say on the internet. What the hell are those? I mean, what are you talking about? Why is this such a big deal? Yeah. It, I mean, the yeah. last of us, the re the last of us, a remaster is 1080p 60. Yep. <laughs> I mean, it just it, it is. I mean, you know, I so okay, so but let me ask you this. Because you you bought an Xbox X, right? You you got one, it's gonna be there, you know, November 7th, November 8th. Do you uh -huh. think, and shout out to Tony P, Tony Polanco, do you, because this confirms what he said last week about Rise of the Tomb Raider. Thrive, talk about the fanboys, thrive off of um, the words, uh, uh, confirmation 
biases, biases and confirmation. So this, and the reason why I'm saying D Batch's name is because his name is in this article. So it's online. So this is not bashing D Batch. This, his name, if you go to this report, description is dualshockers.com. One, two, three, four. I want to say about eight words into it. His name is up here. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just saying this for everybody. So, and so the confirmation biases, that's what it was called. So, um, do you think, because I've said this before, uh, do you feel, because you bought this uh, console, do you feel these guys are trying to sell the console for them? Yeah, that's what it is, man. Uh, let's, let's face it. These guys, I mean, that's their job. I mean, they are the marketing team. Uh, you know, I'm not going to say any names, but we all know who the marketing team is, who the damage controlling team is. Yeah. <laughs> sh sh shout out to my boy, Sick Humor. He out there, he said, I sound like Bum B from Houston, Houston, Texas, H Town, baby. I just had to, oh, yeah. <laughs> I had to mess with him on that. Yeah. Houston, the, the house just uh, approved the the hurricane disaster relief. So eight eight billion dollars. So that's that's great news. Now they're gonna have to approve it again for Florida because it looks like they're getting slammed. There's like a 480 mile storm hitting them, so well, that thing that's huge. So, but and that's a yeah, that's a category of five. That's it's tipping the scales to at right at the largest ever recorded in, in the history. So man, I you know you know shout out to Florida. You know if it if it goes that way, if it doesn't and come this way. Then I will be yeah. somewhere where you at, Craig. I'll be knocking on your door, man. Yeah, come on I'll down. Be, be oh, come on up. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll get a bottle of bourbon and go hang out. Yeah, that's what I would say. Yeah. So, so, uh, so, but this is bad, guys. I mean, because the, what I don't know why 1080p 60 all of a sudden. I'm. Mean, it's fine. I'm not here complaining about it, but okay. it's something that we've seen. Craig, you know. <laughs> to tell you the truth right now, if if you want 1080p 60, you can go and buy you a cheap gaming laptop or go buy one of those Alienware uh, Steam machines, and that's going to give you 1080p 60, and then yeah. you can just enjoy that, you know, save you $500 or whatever, and buy that and, and yeah. game on, game with the same, you know, HD TV that you have now, or the same yeah, I mean, 1080p elite, monitor you have. Yeah, yeah. Why? Why go out and spend all this money upgrading TVs and upgrading systems if you want, you know? I'm not gonna be wrong. It, and then let me ask you this, not to interrupt you. Why? And because Microsoft was doing this on a QLED. Okay, yeah. fine. Why aren't they showing any games running on a 1080p TV? Because all you've heard about is all how great the down sampling is supposed to be. Not that it's not, but how am I supposed to know that if I don't get the F and see it? Yeah. How I mean that's well, what I'm when they understand. talk when when they talk about down ahead, sampling, it, when they talk about down sampling, it's another way for them saying, Hey, you don't have to go out and buy a 4K TV. It's gonna look better on your HD TV. Uh if you just have a, a standard HD TV, it's gonna look you know, it's going to look better than the standard that that's, but again, I'm not spending $500 for that, man. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's, it's a hard sale, Craig. And I'm, I'm actually running out of words. Because if you've got a TV, I have a 4k TV that does HDR. So if I bought this thing, I'm getting the balls to the wall and I don't have anything for Dolby. I don't have Dolby sound in my in my. I have an apartment, so we're not gonna put Dolby sound in an apartment of here within a week. They would be coming up here knocking. One warning, turn that shit down, and then the next knocking is a big red letter. Get out, you know. But nevertheless, it does do that. It does. But seven point one sound, or even five point one, is on the Xbox One S and your OG Xbox. There, when you put on a headset. There's not a whole lot of differences. 7.1 is a little, you can hear a little more background noise, especially with Hellblade. I mean, my God, that is eerie with, with the uh, headset on. But all the games are in 7.1, even the Madden. Like the pass rush coming, the joystick starts vibrating. I'm like, whoa. Yeah. 
line here about Dude Shock. Dude Shock is actually went to confirm what D Bat said. This is what happened with this entire story. Mm hmm. Foxy Games, you all need to wait on the developer. So Dual Shockers went to the developer. It already told us at E3 that it's going to run dynamic resolution. They already told us that. It's going to be 30 FPS. Told us at E3. So here's their chance to say yes, 80p 60 FPS mode. Okay, this was their chance to do it because the game will be out, believe it or not, the game will be out in October, which is next month. Yeah. Six weeks, six yeah, weeks, maybe seven weeks. Yeah, because so, this, this is September, guys. September 6th. I remember I broke that early on the podcast. It was September. <laughs> yeah. But uh, let's read what the developer says. So it says, it's too soon for us to say, this is from the developer, this is in quotes. It's too soon for us to say as of today as the game frame rate has not been locked yet. Okay, that's the lie. The guy's lying to you. Yeah. d bad. Yes, we can confirm we're working on this mode. So what I hear is shout out to Matt's Gaming. No beef with that guy. But when you, he comes on and literally says, well, they didn't deny it. So you can't say a, a lack of denial is confirmation. Get the yes. F out of here with the PS. They would either say it or they're not going to say it. And right now, this is not true. Yeah. Now, maybe they're working on a version of that, but if they are, they're not going to confirm it. You know, and since they're not, you know, we'll get into, I'll get into what Kofi was saying yesterday because I think it's very important what happened to Kofi. But uh, let's go on with the next sentence. Says our goal is to take full advantage of hardware horsepower to deliver the best possible experience on all platforms. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. Origins will use dynamic resolution. That's confirming again what they said at E3, which I've reported. Kratos has said it. We've all said this to you guys. So again, we're this is confirming what we told you guys, even though you all can go back to the same articles. You're coming to us for information. We're trying to give you the most accurate source. Now, what we told you is directly from the developer, which now is being confirmed by the developer again. Yeah. Solutions will adapt to ensure a smooth frame rate. So even if the game is running at 60, it is not, but let's just say it would, what are you going to do, run it at dynamic 1080p? <laughs> do, well, you all have to think about stuff like this, you know. Yeah. It's yeah. just for the best yeah. image in all situations, i.e., yeah. when stress happens on your screen, when you get a bunch of characters coming at you, and especially with Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed, this new Assassin's Creed, guys, they changed the way the guy fights. Yeah. Or yeah. lock on. I mean, this has been, again, confirmed by the developers. But my God, at some point, somebody in the Xbox community, somebody, Cycle Gamer, whoever, Kid Smooth, somebody's got to start calling bullshit because you all don't want me to start doing that. Tornado. Trade. Okay. It will Trade. be a tornado. It will be Hurricane Hugo, the guns of Navarro. Okay. That's what yeah. it would be. So <laughs> I, I hear you. I think I think that's like beating a dead horse. The guys have been getting ridiculed. They've been getting laughed at for four years. I think, you know, doesn't matter what kind of common sense you throw at them, man. They're they're still gonna they're still gonna try to erase those L's, man. <laughs> and and that, that's unfortunate, but yeah. Okay, now Corey Massey saying to be fair to D, he only said they were working on it. Well, that's a lie, Corey. Yeah. Okay, they're not working on it. Okay, I mean, literally, if they were, they would. The game is what? Six weeks out, which means the game has to ship in four weeks, which means. They're already working 10 to 12 hour days to get the game done. Now, look, I'll be the first. I told you all when they announced the, what the games are going to be, I am going to be the first one to come out and say it. I did it with car or the project cars. I did it with the F1. I did it with um, Ark Survival. There is no bias over here. 
Yeah. So, yeah, EJ Johnson saying they should look, they have to learn from those L's. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> you can't erase all the hills. <laughs> but let me ask you all this. This is just a general question. I posed this on Twitter. The alpha, the digital foundry tested from Gamescom, I think it was, Star Wars Battlefront 2, the law mm -hmm. on the PlayStation Pro. It was made fun of. It was ridiculed. But by the xbox community but they're going to go and get a 1080p 60 game which again we're still in this generation i'm not knocking 1080p 60 like OB, obj said shout out to him uh, 60 is a better frame rate playing you know but, but but on your journey if it's a rpg open world you don't need 60. what do you need 60 for mm. <laughs> yeah. so you know, it's just I, I'm still trying to understand you guys. This somebody saying Jack Reacher. The reach was him saying that he talked to the developers and shout out to Kofi who called him out, who called bullshit pretty much. He said take it with a grain of salt. Yet Kofi, shout out to him again. He gets attacked by the Xbox community, and then the people were like, "Well, you need to debate Kofi." I don't know if you watch and go watch his podcast he did yesterday. It's called uh, "Some People Aren't Here for You." You all need to go listen to that podcast. He had a guy in his chat saying, we need to debate. And Kofi's like, what's to debate? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what's to debate? They're not doing it. And if they do, they'll announce it. And yeah. they're not going to tell D-Batch, who, you know, who is not a developer. I can see if the guy was a developer. He yeah. can't develop cheese. You know, <laughs> So my goodness gracious. Hey, Kratos, bring bring sense to this situation as a god of PlayStation. <laughs> yeah, man. It's again, it's the you know, the guys like you like you said earlier, the guys are really trying to sell this console. They're doing the marketing for uh Microsoft. Um and unfortunately, you know, you, you're gonna get this craziness going on. It's not going to be, it's, it's not the first time. It's not going to be the last time. Uh, but, you know, there are going to be some games. I hate to say it, but potentially some games are going to come out being 1080p on the X. And the guys are going to yell and scream and cry. And, and that's just. But they're enhanced. They're yeah. enhanced. Like if the game was 720p and now it's 1080p, that's Xbox One enhanced because it was 720p. <laughs> that's true, Craig. But we all know, I mean, these guys, they want the upper hand. And if you're spending $500 on a console a year later, the last thing you want to hear is 1080p, you know, especially when they spent over a year and a half touting every game for 4k 60 frames uncompromised and now all of that is went out the window now they're just struggling to hit checkerboard so the you know they've been walking back quite a quite a bit and yeah. uh, you you, co you coined them the jack reachers about a year ago and it's still going on man it's still going on i'm like this you know if you game on xbox if you get you an x that system will be way better than the S and way better than the OG uh, Xbox One, or it should be. Um, but, you know, again, if, if you can't take a slight enhancement, then, you know, you probably need to get your PC. Yeah, and man, you you really took the words right out of my mouth. This is for everybody. Everybody needs to come in, come, come the teachers about to teach. Everybody listen. If you are hung up on uh floating points at 16 or 32 point operations, whatever that is, it's new, it's a new word to me too. I gotta learn it. If you're worried about CPU conversion rates and overheating and what your GPU is going to max out and bottlenecking and things like that, if you're really worried about that and then running your game at 30 or 60 or whatever, open frame, 1440p is going to be this, 1080p that, 4K, you know, 2160p or even 8K, go out and go build yourself a goddamn PC. Okay? Get rid of all your stuff. Get rid of all of it because the PC that you build can do everything. 
Facts. Can do everything. You can watch YouTube. Look, every foot, because I don't have cable, Kratos. I don't have it. Okay. Like I said, I got a big heart with small means. I had to make a choice internet with cable or internet. I chose internet. Every football game that came on this weekend, I got to watch the next day on YouTube. So because they were on ESPN, I got to watch LSU and BYU. I mean, LSU trap. I mean, it was bad. <laughs> BYU didn't cross the 50 yard line. It was bad, but I got to watch it. Now, Florida State, Alabama, that was on ABC. Uh, the big comeback, UCLA and uh, Texas A&M, that was on Fox, I believe. So, yeah. So yeah. I'm, I'm simply telling you guys this because you can build a computer and get rid of your television. You can stream movies, or, you know, right off the desktop. You know, um, you can do all this on your on a PC that you build, a one time bill cost you what? Maybe maybe twelve hundred bucks, Kratos. I mean, you can play the Forzas, you can play the the all the Xbox games, and you can play Star Citizen. Okay, and, exactly. You know, it's, 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 exactly. It's unbelievable. The people in the chat are saying that um, Madden's patch, first patch is um, is, is is HDR. So, but they don't uh, know when the patch is coming out. Yeah, I I don't know. I, I read an article uh, before Madden came out. And they said that eventually they they would do it. It would come via patch, but they never said when that patch is going to come. So, I mean, that's a big deal. I'm sure it'll be on all the websites if it happens, but I haven't yeah. seen anything. So I'll take that with a grain yeah. of salt until I see it. Yeah, that's what I was. Uh, two people, Airhawk and um, Sick Humor, were reporting it. And I'm like, well, now, because when I turned on my PlayStation, it, nothing updated. Now, maybe I have to have the game in there to update. I mean, because sometimes it'll just, because that's firmware, f- firmware. So that shouldn't that just update automatically, or you think I may need the game? No, it should. Yeah, no, it should update. It'll just be a patch. So the next time you start the game, it, you should see it. Oh, well, damn. I, I may start the game then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, what they must think of me. <laughs> I usually save this kind of language for the porch. But today, I just like, my God, I can't take it anymore. Exactly. You know, it's, just, it's BS. I mean, <laughs> uh, uh, uh. I mean, I just can't believe it. So, <laughs> all right, there's nothing online about Madden um, with HDR. I mean, nothing. I just pulled it up and, uh, it says it'll do it in the future, like you just said, Kratos. So, does Man 18 yeah. will support 4K on PS Pro at launch? No HDR. That's exactly. now. If there's something new, it's not. It's not hit. Not yet. I'm sorry, hit. Um, uh, but now this article is is almost a month old. So this is 8 15 2017. So, and I'm not here to say that it's not true. But what would happen? See, if we both said, "Oh, this is correct." We did the same thing D Batch did. Exactly. So That's Corey why I Madden said we're gonna we're gonna take it with a grain of salt until we can confirm that. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's it's bad. So uh Weapon Wheel said Red Dead 2. Uh, again, here's the thing, Savage You. Here's the thing. Yeah, I did hear him say that Destiny 2 would be 4K native. Look, when they announced at uh E3 that uh, Assassin's Creed was going to be dynamic resolution in 30, uh, 30 FPS. That was that was an E3, I believe. I mean, you all can go back and check for that. But there was damage control. They're not happy that another Assassin's Creed game is coming out. That should be where you're at. Okay, you should be celebrating we're getting another Assassin's Creed game. They don't give two shits about the game, though. They're about bragging rights. They want to be able to say, exactly. we, have, we have this, and you don't have it. Well, right now, you got this. And at this point, I'm holding a point of my body you can't see. <laughs> they got nothing. <laughs> on November 7th. Let me make that clear. This system, if you're, it's the equivalent of a 480 GPU, I you know, that's pretty much been confirmed. So the, con- congrats. And look, the games do look good. I mean, Forza 7, I think it is, Motorsport 7, is going to look great. So is uh, Gears of War 4. Uh, next year, Forza uh, Horizon 4, if they're going to call it that, 
that that will look that'll be 4k native 30 that that's great project cars is going to be like nothing we've ever seen before you know because it does a little bit of forza and gran turismo but that's where they should be yeah you know they're talking about because they want to be able to say oh look we this my her arm and you know lower cross arm in a uh, native 4k looks a little bit better a little more better than her arm and checkerboard and everybody already knows that if you're five to seven feet back from the tv you can't tell the damn difference i mean it's been confirmed by multiple sites Boundary. So they, I just they, get Craig, they, they, they want their they want their Lara Croft to have a, a little bit mu uh more muddier face. They want they want her to have a little bit more mud on her face than the than the yeah. face. That, that's all. Yeah, and her face is still muddy. And guess what? When when you save it, when she's at the at those camps and you save it, the mud's gone. So it looks a little bit more better, a little more better for a little while during that sequence you're with her. And you can't tell the difference because it's in motion. Even if yep. you turn off the motion blur, which Tomb Raider looks much better in motion blur, that's that are going on. And instead of them just enjoying what they got, they want to try to brag about it. It's not going to happen because they're making a PlayStation 5. And it will be the most powerful console known to man. Exactly. You know, so, you know, and right now Microsoft has built the most powerful console known to man. Congrats. But to think there's going to be a paradigm shift in gaming, just unbelievable. I mean, well, look, Craig, what, I'm trying to, yeah, go ahead. Well, well, and that's cut you off. Why do you think? No, Why ahead. you think these guys can't just be satisfied with having the most powerful console on the market? Why can't you just take because that? of bragging rights? Yeah, but bragging you can brag rights. with that. You can say, "Hey, look, we got six teraflops. We have the most powerful console ever." I mean, you could say that and just stick with it. I mean, yeah. but why do you have to? Again, I think they're trying to erase four years of ales with <laughs> one with with one day. <laughs> with, with one day, that's what they're trying to do. Yeah, I mean, oh, now somebody's talking about 25 teraflops on the PS5. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. But keep in mind, though, God of War ran on 1.86 teraflops at E3, and it shut down any and every other game imaginable. Right. Yeah, well, think about the whole 30 and 60 stuff. Arguably, arguably considered the best game this generation. Uh, arguably, okay? It's 30 FPS. Fact. It's not going to, you know. Now they're, 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 now, they're making another version of it, and I understand a remake, a remaster, whatever you want to call it. But it's, it, it's still going to be 30 FPS. Which you're you're if, riding if, around a horse. You know. Go ahead, go ahead, Kratos. Go ahead, bro. No, I was just saying if you if you you know really want that graphical fidelity, if you really want that in a what do you call it uh, for for three ninety nine four ninety nine, it is what it is. You're gonna be getting thirty frames per second. If not, then you're gonna yeah, be getting a, a an uglier, last gen yeah. looking game, but sixty frames. I mean. Yeah, and there was 60, look, the developers opted for visuals over FPS because we had a ton of games running very well on PS2. I mean, they were running extremely well, but people were like, the graphics were grainy. Exactly. My, 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 two of my favorite games, Tenchu and um, Siphon Filter, both are grainy as hell. That I might that didn't take away from the fun. I was still doing my thing, you know. But, exactly. Um, yeah, Siphon filter one and two. I didn't. I never made it to Siphon filter three. I think at that point I switched to Xbox because they had Knights of the Old Republic. So yeah. again, they and that's the whole thing when these idiots try to say, "Look, matter." Then why the hell did Xbox, the OG, launch with games like Splinter Cell? That was a, an exclusive. They had Knights of the Old Republic that was exclusive. They had uh, Halo, which was exclusive. Three games built that platform. And now they want to run around and say, well, that doesn't matter. Again, 
the bullshit. It's I mean, it's just I just don't get this anymore. You lost. You lost. You no, know, it, it, it's over with. It's a route. If the game's over, go get in your car. It's it's running. Go go play your games. You know, so Wolflow said the cycle continues. <laughs> Like the Reapers, so <laughs> yeah. Trust me, it's gonna it's gonna keep going, man. It's not the end of it. Yeah, and I just do not. Oh, I just don't get it, man. I, I just think that um, they they've become more about bragging rights and less about their games. Um, again, like I said, you know, me on Twitter with with uh, Zaire assets. I'm playing a game. In 4K, I mean, if, if you're a 4K guy, if you're into to the visual porn, the game's in 4K. So I much rather, I've said this, Kratos, you've said it, I much rather have it being 1440p, maybe Perhaps. some higher settings, you know, but I'm I'm playing the game in 4K, you know, it's killing them. Oh, you are, and they're like, when the Xbox X version comes out, do the Xbox X version of this don't come out till November. NFL season is three fourths over by the time you get your console and you update it with those rousters. My <laughs> first season on Madden will be done in three weeks. I'll be into my sec. I've already had my draft and everything. Well, I tell you what. Once, once, it, once, once it finally comes, ah. Craig. Once it finally comes, uh, they're only going to be playing, you know, amongst themselves because everybody else going to move been moved on to something else. Yeah, well, hold on. Corey Massey just put something in the. Did you see this in the chat? Something Mike Yabar may have said. No, let me check it. He said, "Yeah, yeah, go ahead and then give me your feedback." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you, Ryan. They need to build one with one of those. So. One come come with a headboard you can break. <laughs> yeah, our article states as follow rumor to have to, oh I just it's a it says rumor to have, so come on, man. We can't talk about that. <laughs> I'll tell you what, man. I, I at this point, Craig, I don't believe anything coming from the executive's mouth. Uh, at Microsoft. Yeah. I, don't, I only believe the developers. That's it. Yeah, and that's what we said. And that's like when you all get upset with this, like when Digital Foundry did uh, uh, that game Anthem. Checkerboarded. It was a, was that an alpha that they were using? So they were literally giving you the they're giving you the pretest the of the pretest. Yeah, exactly. you know, exactly. and, and you all are getting upset over an alpha. I'd be happy that the game is coming out. And it's not even an exclusive. It's coming to all the platforms, so who cares? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I was just like, I saw the game, like, oh, well, that looks good. Oh, yeah, it's a multi-plat. So you all are acting like it's an exclusive game. It's not. It's not. It's over with. BioWare is owned by EA, and, e and BioWare makes games for everybody. Even that man, like like Kratos' light mass effect, and you all know my thing, you know. So, yeah. Yep. Savage Uger said that Mike Yabar also said Xbox X, he was a $1,500 PC. Well, we know that's BS. He did. I he know did that. say that. And, and I Phil, don't. Phil, Spencer, <laughs> Phil Spencer already said that uh, single player experiences aren't good. So, yeah. And yeah, Bioware is everybody's hoe. Yeah, they are now. They used to be Jade Empire and Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2, uh, Boulders. All that shit was on the Xbox. I mean, that's what I'm saying, man. They they try to tell you that none of the, that doesn't matter anymore. Again, get the F out of here with the BS. This, you're going to have to from now on. So, but yeah, man, I'm, I'm looking at the stream. Does anybody have any, uh, you got anything to add, Kratos? Not really, man. I'm just waiting to fill out with the with before the end of this week. What kind of you know other news we're gonna get? You know what kind of other fanatical uh, you know Xbox gonna come out and say some crazy stuff and make the headlines? Yeah, I don't know, man. At the end of the day, Craig, I'm I'm waiting for the games, man. I, I already bought this system. I'm waiting for the games. 
because that's what it's all about. It's about the games. So, yeah, I, I mean, the bottom line, guys, is just, you know, I, I said this months ago. And Lawson, I'm sorry, Larson got cast as Captain Marvel. Everybody knew that in March, I think. Everybody, we all knew that in March. It was the worst kept secret in Hollywood. But we had to wait on her. She's the one that shot an Instagram picture of her coffee table with the Miss Marvel magazine and a big script next to it. Start getting ready with my um, on my next project. When she did that at like one o'clock, she did a press conference and confirmed everything. Then we went to press with it. We can come out and say it's been confirmed. It was the worst kept secret, but it's been confirmed. So. This is my opinion wrapping up here. I'll throw it to you, Kratos. I truly think these there's some people who want this console to do so well that they're willing to say anything they can because there's an abyss on the other side. This is it. This is the Hail Mary pass to Calvin Johnson in the end zone, you know, Megatron, and they're trying to get him a touchdown because if it doesn't do well, this because you think about it. It can already do backwards compatibility, 4K Blu-ray. Right, this, is, this is fun. I'm not knocking that. It can do 4K gaming and others, checkerboarding, whatever, sparse, dynamic. It's already at its max peak. Where else is there to go? You're right. It, it can't go much of anywhere else. I mean, right now it's about the games. And if you don't have the games, then just sit on a spec sheet. I mean, if if that spec sheet don't make you happy enough, then you know you just you just stuck. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, yeah. One guy just saying, if 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 Xbox X is the equivalent of a something called a 1080 Ti and a 6700 K CPU, why is Crackdown running 30 FPS? No, why is Crackdown looking like that? My God, that's an ugly, that's a yeah, ugly game. They, 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 yeah. <laughs> Hopefully they fix that. Cause like I said, I you know, people have asked me what like people have messaged me on Xbox and said, what games am I gonna get new? And I've said Cuphead, uh, shout out to uh, Press Start Kofi because really look and again when I saw that at Gamescom, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm buying that. You know, so uh so I'll be buying that and um you know, and the uh, not state of decay, the game with a giant rat was there. Oh, Metro. Because who don't want to shoot at a giant rat? I mean, seriously. I mean, I was playing uh, Fallout. I spent so many times fighting those giant rats. That was like the game for me. I yeah, love yeah, that. Definitely. You know, <laughs> yeah, you could break their arm or break their tail, or just break their head, you know, because I would use a lead pipe or something. But, uh, but yeah, so I'm getting those games. And four is a seven. Yeah, I'm I don't have a motorsports game except for five. And it's just kind of like, eh. It was okay, you know, so yeah, but it was a launch game, it was a launch game, so and uh, so yeah, you don't expect a ton of it, but um, but yeah, guys, just just wait for the developers to come out and tell you what's going on. This is why now you got D batch pretty bad, you know, getting roasted. I mean, I'm talking about roasted like planners nuts roasted, so you know, <laughs> you know, so uh. <laughs> You know, unfortunately, and the people need to call him out. You know, the Xbox community, I'm in the Xbox community, I'm calling BS. This is what I was talking about. People mocked me on the uh, multiplayer podcast, but this is why I said you guys should wait. And as far as I'm concerned, this thing's going to do a little bit more. Nothing, that's been, nothing at the time had been um, confirmed. Now you, we do have a handful of games, a handful. So, you know, and that's, and I've always said, yeah, here are the games, you know, but um, that's all I've been asking people to do. You won't do it. Now you look like a fool. Yep. That's Anything right. to say before we got the, before we get out of here? <laughs> no, that's it, man. That's, uh, that, that's it for me. Okay. <laughs> I just tell these guys oh, just, okay. to, just to enjoy the games they have and. Stop trying to merge over to the PC. You just can't do it. You're going to take an L every time. If you don't have the funds to migrate over and do what you need to do, then just enjoy the games that you have. Yeah, do what I'm doing. Enjoy what you got and put it together little bit by little bit. And I may catch a sale 
and be able to get everything. I mean, who knows? I may catch a sale, you know, yep. and be like, oh, yeah, here I can get the power source and the CPU. You know, somebody said you could play Battle Giant Rats. Oh, I didn't know that. So, see, I don't like those type of games. That's why I haven't gotten to uh, Neo, not Neo. Yeah, Neo yet. It just looks like a slashing game. You're just pressing buttons. But I'll I'll get to it because everybody keeps saying I'm a fraud because I've never played Bloodborne before. So I'll I'll get to it. I promise you. So <laughs> yeah yeah. Well, understand like like Kofi said. Everybody's over in the chat. There are people that are doing clickbait to get you to come in over there, leave comments. That drives traffic, and then they get more call AdSense money. That's why I've said to you guys, when you see clickbait stuff, just don't don't worry about it. You know, I mean, I know you can I know you want to go over there and take them to town because again, because I I used to do that. War. But it's not worth it, you know. Yeah. So it is just it's not worth it because it, at, in the end, they're going to get proven foolish all the time, just like mm -hmm. D Batch did. So and, you know, I got no beef with D Batch. But he looks foolish on this on this thing. Now your name is synonymous with a rumor that is not that's not proven. So no matter what happens, his credibility is taking a giant hit. Yeah, you're right about the rise in CPU, but I don't know how you come back from this. <laughs> you know, you know, you just have to own it and move on. So you just have to own it and move on. So uh, yeah. yeah, these guys are gonna keep doing it. I take them to town. There you go. I know. I see you over there, Wolf Flow. And Wolf Flow and Savage Uger, all of them be over there just get just smacking those guys around. You know, it's like, all right, David, they've had enough, man. <laughs> TKO, baby. TKO. You know. <laughs> oh, yeah. How come the YouTube hustle can't contain telling the truth? Because everybody prefer a beautiful lie than a hard truth, OBJ. Facts. Everybody. Facts. Bye. And it says ad money, ad sense money has been cut back tremendously. And uh, so the people who were, that's why you hear people saying they're going to Twitch and VidMe and Daily Motion because they're they're leaving YouTube. They're migrating off of YouTube. So I don't mind. Look, I'm an Xbox fan. Kratos, we're both Xbox fans. We are not going to sit up here and lie to you about what the console's capable of. I have an Xbox One S hooked to a 4K TV. Therefore, everything I put in my Xbox One S upscales. Exactly. It has HDR. It has HDR on it. So, I mean, Craig, they, they re Craig, even Xbox guys touted that. They touted that for months and months and months. And 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 until the Scorpio, I guess, start picking up steam, and then they just drop the the S like a bad habit. They, they yeah, you, and you never even talk about the, the S top. anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's actually the top selling console according to Phil Spencer. This that's the projection, and you know, it's just like okay, look at Michael Pachter. He says they're going to sell whatever units, and he gets attacked. Comes back and says, um back and says they're going to sell maybe two million now all of a sudden he's cool gave us you gave us reality news it's both predictions either way it may sell more it may sell less the main thing is is that that's what you guys are that's like i said last week the main thing is that it's selling if they sold ten thousand copies they sold ten thousand copies my xbox tattoo i don't I, mine doesn't have one <laughs> I mean, you know, what I would like to see the Xbox X have, though, let me keep it 100% with you, is where you turn it on, green. That should be green, and it should ambient back green to white, white, because that's the color of their system. I mean, their logo is green and white. I think they're, I think had that thing just been green and white ambient, I think that would have been a cool feature to have. So... You know, that's just me, though. I mean, you know, was, if I'm not, if I would have designed it, that's the touch I would have put on it. I'm like, all right, looks good. Let's make our light that comes on green and white ambient. The white, because it's white now on the Xbox One S. 
So just imagine that was going green to white, green to white. That would be cool. But that's just, I, I'm not, not, but don't bash me. I'm not knocking the system. Okay? I'm not buying one unless I try to say, here's 250, go buy one. Then I'll go buy one. I promise you, I will buy one. You know, so but yeah, I, I'm not gonna. I can't do it. Not when that. Not when I'm building a PC and I'm like, I don't. Maybe three fifths there. I maybe I don't know based on what I'm buying. So, but yeah. uh, Craig, Craig Toast, man, go ahead. We're gonna wrap it on up here. So, uh, go ahead and shout yourself out, brother. Everybody, thanks for rocking out with us. Again, it's your boy J Dub, aka Kratos, the god of PlayStation. Kicking it with my man Craig again. Uh, another one down in the history books. Uh, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe, and uh rock out with him. Yeah. Well, gee, man, thanks. Uh appreciate it. And uh guys, thank you all for coming by. It's uh we got up like 20, yeah, like 25 people watching, which to me is good on a weekday. I mean, nice. I know I'm doing it. People got to work. So, uh, so all you guys that join live, I do appreciate it. All the mods, I do appreciate it. Uh, just keep doing what you're doing. Keep playing your games. Uh, check uh, check me out tonight. I'll be on uh, with Porter Rock 77. He's going to have on a Blue and Luca podcast. So uh, uh, that look, we're going to ch come check that out if you want to. Uh, that'll be 8 o'clock Eastern time. And uh, if not, check him out. Check out his content. Uh, check out J-Dub's content with the Greatness Podcast with uh, my man Iron Wolf on there. You know, him being a new dad and all, he may need a game break or two. Uh, also, uh, my man Jay Fonzarelli. Uh, shout, big shout out to Jay Fonzarelli because he's called out the fanboys, you know, here over the last week. So, yeah, all you Xbox guys that are keeping it gaming, not being Jack Reacher, we're, we're fine on saying stuff that ain't true because you're trying to wish it into existence that's that stuff's gotta stop i mean i don't know what the problem is the the console is either going to sell or it's not going to sell marketing is up the 4k taco doritos are out there uh they've got a they got their first commercial out i've seen it so let's just give them time to start rebranding themselves they got to recover from a terrible launch Terrible, terrible, terrible. So, you know, but uh, that's it, guys. Thanks for joining us. This has been Craig's Corner with uh, my main man, Kratos, joining us in for to bring a little levity because I was trying to go off the deep end and Kratos grabbed me by my belt and pulled me back across the uh, back across the abyss. So I appreciate that, brother. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> take it easy, guys. This is Craig Harris signing out with my man, J-Dub, here. If you go out tonight, Easy guys. Peace.